This is the day baseball fans wait all winter for. Opening day, the Mets start in Miami later this afternoon. But in just a few hours, the Yankees first pitch of the new season in the Bronx at home. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado live at Yankee Stadium this morning with a look at what's new for the 2023 season. And Zania, there are a lot of changes out there, not only to the Yankees lineup, but of course to the rules. Chris and Mary, good morning. Yeah, a lot of excitement here in the Bronx, and we're going to see some new changes that are expected to speed up the games, which some of the fans say that is exactly what they are looking for. Now, in just a couple of hours, it's going to be a packed house out here as the Yankees are set to face the San Francisco Giants. We are expecting to see a huge celebration later this afternoon. Set to open the 121st season in franchise history, the New York Yankees versus the San Francisco Giants. I actually came all the way from the Dominican Republic for this. Pre-game ceremonies are set to begin at 12:30 this afternoon, with the introduction of both teams on the baselines, and the first pitch is set for 105. Now joining the Yankees starting lineup for the first time today, watch on New Jersey native Anthony Volpe. Welcome to New York. Raised only about 30 miles west of the Bronx, Volpe grew up a Yankees fan, more specifically, a Jeter fan. There's some sort of clinic in New York City where a bunch of Yankees were at. I think like Tino Martinez, Jeter. And when we finally get there, I was like so shy and crying that I wouldn't go out onto the field. I was like bawling, crying. I don't know if you can see in the picture, but I feel the ground ball and I just run off to go see my mom. Apparently, he like grabbed me and made me high five him. Bruce Chateau coached Volpe when he was in high school just three years ago. At the age of 21, Volpe is the youngest Yankee shortstop since day. Eric Jeter. People are going to make that comparison, but um, time will tell. And there's a lot of baseball ahead of Anthony to see if he can fill those shoes. And with the team's first game today, you may notice a few things happening differently this season. Pitchers will now have 15 seconds to throw a pitch, 20 seconds when a runner is on base, and batters must be ready to hit by the time the clock reaches eight seconds. Another big change the infield shift is no longer allowed, which means two players must be on each side of the infield, and the bases are getting bigger by three inches to be exact. Which is great because I'd hate to get home at 11 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And the MLB commissioner says is these changes are a result of reaching out to fans and realizing they wanted to see more pace and better action. Excuse me, better pace and more action. So hopefully we'll get to see that later today. From Yankee Stadium, Zania Manzanato, CBS 2 News. Yes, keywords pace, action. All right, Zania, thank you so much.